so with Starfield coming up, I decided to see if the Nukes and Dragons website had a build planner. And it does. There'll be a link in the description to this. This is pretty cool because obviously this allows you to plan builds ahead. The early access period for the game as of the time I'm recording this opens up in about 25 hours. People that have already discovered this will probably already know what build they want to do. But I decided to try out some themed builds uh, ahead of the game coming out. So I was looking through all the backgrounds, which we saw a lot of them already, but um, we have the full list available to us now. And you know, there's stuff like um, Bounty Hunter... Combat Medic, Cyber Runner, Diplomat, Homesteader, Pilgrim, Ronin, Soldier, Space Scoundrel. I saw all of those, and I was, and it gave me a lot of ideas for some specifically some Star Wars themed builds, which that is what this video is. Um, so first off, the first build that I was thinking was a Han Solo type build. So you'd want to choose Space Scoundrel as your background. Um, all the levels, um, it'll be up to level 50 is uh, how far I'll be taking it. But obviously the game has an, has an infinite level cap. To get all the skills in the game, I think you have to hit like two, level 250, 300. But uh, that is absolutely not required. So first thing I'm going to do is obviously max out the skills that we've already been given which are Persuasion, Pistol Certification, and Piloting, which if you've seen Star Wars, you absolutely know that these absolutely fit Han Solo. I'm immediately going to head over to the traits, actually. Han Solo, definitely wanted, because he is wanted by the Empire throughout the original trilogy and Solo. He grew up orphaned on Corellia, so I feel like making him a neon street rat wouldn't make sense. This one is personally like def definitely up to your personal preference. I'd say either spaced, extrovert, or hero worshipped. Um, less so hero worship, but definitely either ex extrovert or spaced. Um, I would. I'm personally gonna go for extrovert because chewy pistol kills, and then um, this is really personal preference. Except just depending on what type of gun. You Weapons you want to use. So if you want to use ballistic pistols, then you can go ballistic. So if you want to go lasers, then you go with lasers. Thing Han uses a blaster in Star Wars. I'm gonna go with the laser weapons, but obviously you can go ballistics if you'd rather. Or if there's a, a weapon that looks like the DL44 that is a ballistic weapon, then obviously you'd want to go with that. Um, considering the game isn't out, a lot of this is subject to change too. That we learn. Um, when I just Definitely want to increase your crit chance, your crit stuff, just for the extra damage. And crippling is very seems to be very good, and armor penetration, especially considering you're using pistols. And this one's really dependent on your aim, really, but I'd say also get sharpshooting. Han is a smuggler, so he'd be pretty good at deception, smuggling, bribing. Commerce. Well, he's pretty charismatic. So, especially if you if you go if, if you get extrovert, this is a very 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 good skill to get alongside it. This is to have just a bigger crew on your ship. So yeah, as you can see, we already hit the we already hit level fifty. I have a feeling just because of how many skills are in this game that the the x you're going to be leveling up a lot. The next piece is going to be pretty easy to come by. But the game is also seeming like it's going to be massive. This is where a lot of ship based things will be obviously you want targeting capabilities this is just for gameplay purposes i know han is, is someone who'd rather shoot open a door a smuggler would obviously want to have um a fat a very fast ship that holds a lot of things han ship the millennium falcon is very fast so obviously you want to have fast so i'd say definitely just straight up increasing your carry capacity and health is a must and stealth. Stealth is just all, all, all three of these are pretty much purely taken for gameplay reasons and not uh, ca in character reasons. Same with pain tolerance and energy weapon dissipation as well. And concealment. Pretty much everything in here is kind of just gameplay reasons except maybe stealth and rejuvenation. Again, a lot of these are going to be taken for gameplay purposes. And I'm 
going up to level 150 now. Okay, this is the Han Solo build. There will be a link in the description to the website by itself for making your own builds. And there will be a link in the description to this build in particular. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, have fun if you use this build or this website. I hope it's useful and have fun with the game. It's going to be good. I can, I can tell.